The Marvel Cinematic Universe has nothing on the Red Velvet theories, because those girls keep outdoing themselves every time. From theories of the members being dolls, to references of classical paintings and the Bible, their newest music video offers everything the fans asked for. So let's take a look at the latest update on the Red Velvet theory. Heaven and Hell. It's not a Red Velvet comeback if entire threads aren't being made about the theories surrounding the lyrics and the music video. Thankfully, they've given us just enough to make up plenty of theories on what the girls are trying to tell us, and how it all ties to the story storyline they've built over the years. Feel My Rhythm is no different. It came out on March 21st, and it broke a few records already. The song debuted at number 9 on the Melon Top 100, and became the highest charting song in 2022 until now. They also achieved the most unique listeners on Melon for this year. I didn't expect any less from my queens. But what got people's attention the most is the stunning music video for the title track. The girls looked gorgeous, the cinematography was simply breathtaking, and the references to classical paintings from artists like Claude Monet, Jean Honoré Froganard and John Everett Millay added a beautiful touch to the whole thing. However, today I'm going to talk about how the entirety of the music video is a reference to Hieronymus Bosch's painting titled Garden of Earthly Delights. The artwork is made of three panels and it covers themes of punishment, sin, and hell. The left panel portrays the beginning of humanity, the middle panel displays humans engaging in sin by being lustful and greedy, and the panel on the right shows hell. This might be Essam's way of showing us that Red Velvet were the ones that created Kuang Ya. I know, the theories are crazy, but hear me out. Out. As I said, the left panel is about the creation of humanity, and people think that the music video references that exact panel to show that the members were the ones that created Kuang Ya. There's also a theory that Sulgi is the Black Mamba, but that's a whole nother story which I'm not gonna go into because it's just crazy. Even with all the varying themes, Garden of Earthly Delights mainly depicts the union of Adam and Eve. So how does this connect to the Feel My Rhythm music video? Well, as you know, Eve was taunted with forbidden fruit by a snake. However, in the Garden of Earthly Delights, the forbidden fruit is disguised as a strawberry, and the snake was replaced by a bird. And who was dressed in bird-like clothes and holding a strawberry in the music video? None other than Sulgi. There's also a shot of Sulgi sitting on a throne that directly parallels the bird demon in Bosch's painting. The parallel to the painting and Sulgi being depicted as the bird demon hints that Sulgi went to hell when she drowned in the Oompa Oompa music video and wants to drag the rest of the members down there with her. What a revenge story, huh? So how does she manage to tempt all the members into joining her in hell? First, Joy is dragged into hell by being tempted by the forbidden fruit. The scene where she's standing in the middle of the flower is a recreation of one of the parts in the painting. The bird, which in this case is Sulgi, tempts her with the fruit and when she touches it, the fruit ends up exploding. Yeti can also be seen wearing a crown made of strawberries, which makes us think that she had already been tempted and fully embraced it. However, since she's shown being inside of a pearl, it means that she was safe. This is also a reference to Bosch, who used the scene surrounding the pearl to portray how people are full of desires like gluttony and lust, which we know are two of the seven deadly sins and how people are tempted into committing them. But Yeti ends up following a shiny droplet and joins the birds who are dancing around her. Which means that the temptation won and Sulgi succeeded in sending her to hell. Wendy also ends up being tempted into hell by strawberries as she swims towards one when she falls into a lake. Irene, however, was already in hell and is possibly depicted to be the black swan who disguises herself as the white swan in the Psycho music video. This must be confusing since until now, Irene and Sulgi were painted to be rivals ever since Sulgi became aware of Irene controlling them. But in my last Red Velvet video, I mentioned that Irene was feeling guilty over Sulgi's drowning, and that's why she's helping Sulgi lure the members into hell. I mean, we can see her hold a bowl of strawberries, and two of the members were tempted to hell by strawberries. The two also recreate Claude Monet's woman with a parasol painting when they stand on top of the hill and look down. They were also the only members wearing black, which could mean that they end up forming an alliance. But since Irene is also seen standing on a ship, it can mean that she still controls the ship even after everything that happened. But even if Irene is still pulling the strings behind the scene, Sulgi still succeeds in her mission. At the end of the music video, all the members are shown standing inside of a yellow room, which is Sulgi's representative color, with Sulgi peeking from outside. This means that she managed to trap all the members into hell. They're also all wearing black at the end. There's also a theory that the members are trying to also draw the viewers into hell by turning into fairies who dance at the Reve Festival. The music video also hints that the theory of the members being stuck in a loop might be true after all. The video starts with the sound of tape being started, which could signal the start of a time loop. House magic. There's another theory going around that could explain everything that's going on. No, this one has nothing to do with heaven, hell, or biblical references. Well, sort of. This theory says that the members are actually dolls who are owned by a girl named Reve who's living in the 1900s. We've seen Reve in the very first teaser with a box over her head, which suggests that this is Reve's way of entering the fairy tale land or the festival. This theory says that all the plots from the Red Velvet music video so far are just Reve's imagination. This explains why all the music video sets look like the inside of dolls 
dollhouses and are strangely cartoonish. To add to this theory, the packaging for the Queendom album looks like a dollhouse and like the package they usually sell Barbie dolls in. We can also see a dollhouse on the cover of the Reve finale, and the story is divided into chapters just like a fairy tale book. But not even Reve can survive Irene's clutches, and there are two more theories about her inclusion to the whole story. The Red Velvet universe is really complicated, I know, but I can't lie and say it isn't fun finding out about all the different theories. The first theory suggests that Irene could be Reve's self-insert character into this fantasy land she created. Yes, Irene could be Reve herself. She just wants to be a part of all the crazy stories she created in her head, so she imagined herself as a character amongst the dolls named Irene. This is why Irene is in control and Reve is wearing Irene's signature color. I must say this is a very creative child. She's literally making up stories about the girls hunting pizza delivery guys with bows and arrows and referencing biblical stories all during playtime. Where does she even come up with these? There's another possible theory and believe me, it gets crazier. The second theory says that Irene is acting like Reve to take control of the girls. In the Red Mare VCR, Irene is holding a box over her head that resembles Reve's robot box. Acting and dressing like Reve is Irene's way of convincing the girls that she is in fact Reve. It eventually works as she starts taking control of everything, especially the members. I've already discussed how the girls became aware of this dream world one by one and the fact that Irene is the one who's in charge of them and manipulating reality and their minds. In the end, all the girls become aware and Irene becomes desperate to get the girls back under her influence. So in Feel My Rhythm, Irene is using the strawberries as a method to take control of the girls again. Yeti and Wendy are seen falling for her trick immediately. Then the impossible happens as Irene also manages to get control of Sulki as well. Irene takes the bowl of strawberries and offers it to an owl-like figure who we can assume is Sulki. Sulki takes the strawberry and eats it. This makes her Irene's puppet once again. But even with Irene doing her best, everything doesn't go as planned. Through small hints and scenes in the music video, it's shown that Joy is now the member that's becoming aware about everything that's going on and who's going to rebel against Irene. Joy is in fact the only member that's not shown touching or picking strawberries because Irene failed to take control of her. In one scene, Sulgi and Yeti are picking strawberries and Joy is just watching them from afar. So even though Sulgi has been the odd one out so far since she's the first one that became quote unquote aware and rebelled against Irene, Joy is now taking her place. This doesn't go unnoticed as the other members begin suspecting her due to her very strange behavior. At the end, Sulgi even breaks eye contact with the camera to look at Joy, showing that she's already suspecting something. Though Irene hasn't shown to be very forgiving to the rebels, has she? I mean, she literally drowned Sulgi when she started becoming suspicious of her. Does the same fate await Joy now that she's the one that's aware? Well, based on the fact that she's recreating John Everett Millay's painting Ophelia, it seems like it won't be long before she ends up like Sulgi. Ophelia is a character in Shakespeare's play Hamlet. Ophelia ends up drowning after she climbs a willow tree and the branch breaks, making her fall into the brook. Are y'all seeing the parallels? What are your theories on Feel My Rhythm? Share them in the comments. Hope you enjoy the video and see you next time. Bye.